those weeks of dreaming and planning and then traveling through the length of the Czech Republic, the wait is finally over. I had reached the finale of my soliloquy, Prague. was a city which was denied a moment's rest because of its easy proximity to more than half of Europe. Events have happened, battles fought, countries molded and broken by time and Prague has lived through it all. said that the destiny of the city was decided much before its foundation was laid. Libius, the Slavic princess, had predicted the future of a city that would take the whole world by storm. walk on her cobbled streets with the river flowing smoothly and the many elegant spires that dutifully delineate the skyline was a wish fulfillment. Like with all the tourists, all roads for me led to the Prague castle. first cigarette, my first job, my first love, my first glimpse of the castle will remain etched in my mind forever. in the square that have remained more or less unchanged since the mid 18th century. But it is the Prague castle that had my undivided attention right now. The entrance gate is a part of Rococo railing that dates back to the time of Empress Maria Theresa's reign. came in the form of the monarchy, the church or the current democratic government, the castle has always been the seat of power. The castle was divided into three courtyards. The second courtyard was larger, with the chapel of the Holy Cross blessing it. The courtyard was built on a buried moat in the 16th century. the third courtyard with one of the most interesting monuments of the castle, St. Vitus Cathedral.
Unfortunately, the cathedral was closed by the time I reached there, so I made do with the stunning exteriors. This is the most important cathedral in Prague, as this is where royal coronations have taken place. It is also the final resting place of patron saints, archbishops and members of the royalty. came knocking once too often to the threshold of this castle. Most often, pages get lost, but this time, an entire chapter has reopened.